hello everyone welcome to this video in today's video I was asked by a subscriber to show how to make an inclined hollow cylindrical column in Abacus CAE in my opinion it's a bit tricky to make and I'm going to show you one of the ways there are many different ways you can do it so please bear with me on this uh, you can make it in any other CAD software I think it will be easier to do so well like in SolidWorks etc but if you are really inclined to only model in, in Abacus CAE then this is one of the ways you can use so the problem was like this that this is an inclined column which is hollow as you see here and it has a length axial length of 720 millimeters the inner diameter is 200 millimeters and the external diameter is 240 millimeters so we need to make it an inclined cylinder of this shape and it will also give you an appreciation of what complexities and thought process involved in making any CAD model because they look simple but small and minor details can take a lot of time and effort and also creative thinking in a way so let's jump into abacus now okay so let's jump into abacus and see how we can make this inclined column in abacus in my opinion i think you can make it much easily in solidworks or any other quad software but i will try to show you here what you can do in abacus ea to make this kind of part it's a bit tricky and i will go to the best of my knowledge what you can do there might be different ways of doing it as well but this is one of the ways you can use so maybe somebody else will know a better way than this one okay so let's start with that so first thing is i will create a simple vertical pipe or a tube or column in this case so i will select i will call it a column maybe okay and then i will call it deformable 3d and i will extrude basically okay i will do this thing and then i will first create a circle since the internal diameter is 200 millimeters so i'm gonna say that center of the circle is 200 and the perimeter point will be at a radius of 100 millimeters so i will say 100 comma zero along x-axis and this is my inner circle okay then i will do the same for the second one in this case again i will go start with zero zero and for perimeter point the diameter given is 240 millimeters so i would say 120 comma zero and this is how it looks like then once i have made this i will just press done and it will ask me for the extrusion length or depth whatever you call it in this case it was 720 millimeters so i have put it down here the issue here is this is a column which is along z axis and we need to incline it along y axis right so we need to rotate it we don't see any feature here for rotation so best way in my opinion would be we will take it in the assembly module and we will rotate it there once we since we can do rotation and other option uh, translation option translate options uh, in assembly so i will go to the assembly now i will instance the part here when i am assembling and i will make it independent just to be on the safe side okay and now this is there and now what I will do, I will first rotate this thing along y-axis 90 degrees and then I will rotate about z-axis 80 degrees as per the given. So I will select the instance because it's asking me which select the instances to rotate. And now it's asking me to the axis of for the axis of rotation. So for the axis of rotation, we need to give two points. In this case, I will give 0, 0, 0 as an origin first point and the second point would be somewhere on y-axis so it could be 0 1 0 0 5 0 or whatever so my starting point is 0 0 0 and my end point of the axis is 0 i am selecting 1 0 example and once i have given the axis which is y-axis in this case i have to rotate by 90 degrees so i'll keep it like this and i press enter and you see it has rotated around y-axis about y-axis and this is how it looks like and i will say okay everything is fine just keep it like this now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate about z-axis to make it have an, having, having an angle of 80 degrees. So, so what I'm going to do now is again rotate option, select the instance as I did. Now starting point of this is again 0, 0, 0 
and the endpoint in this case is about z axis so it will be 0 0 1 again it could be 1 2 3 10 whatever you like but it should be on z axis so now i have to rotate not 90 degree but 80 degrees to have an angle an inclined value so now if i go here if i see along x-axis and you see my column is inclined and i will say okay the only sh issue now is if this is an inclined column and it's connected to some part which is horizontal then we might have to trim some of this material which is excess here right but if i so what i will do now i will create datum planes and these at these points right center points and then i will cut the material in that case which will cause some problem when I create the datum plane and I will get back to that one. So to create datum plane, I will press this button here, create datum. And now I want to create a datum plane about Z axis, so just to be in 3D, so about this on XZ plane, sorry. So XZ plane is this. And when I press this, and you see I have a datum plane. So if I see now, I have a datum plane. Now this is the issue which I was talking about a few minutes earlier because since we use the actual land then we have some excess material here which we have to remove while we have some less material here which has to be there in a case in, a, in order to preserve the total central length of 720 millimeters so let's i will i will show you how you can do it first create another plane here so that we can remove the material from the top as well later on using the datum plane so again in this case this is the length because we need a vertical length right so you can compute you can do the simple trigonometry and find that out or what you can do is you can measure the length from this point to this point along y-axis in this case and how you can do it is basically uh, you go to tools jury select the distance and now it's asking you to find the for the distance you need two points so I, I will first rotate it with this select this point here which is this now it's asking me for the second point so i will rotate and i will select the second point which is there right so total distance of length of this thing should be 720 and you see it is 720 but as i said we need a length in vertical direction to have a datum plane here and that is 709 and that's why in in that window you remember a few moments ago if i can go back here not this one sorry data plane exit plane and zero oh, here i have to give this 709 point whatever value because that has to be somewhere here so i need a data plane here as well so that i can remove the access material from that point as well so you see now i have data plane the issue now is there is some material missing here and some material is additional there so what i can do now is me, I can go back to my part and I can increase the length of this and then I will remove any excess material above and below this because this is the total length I need in along y-axis which will keep the central length or axial length of this column to be 720 millimeters so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to go to the part here and then maybe in the part I will just go here see here in this features I look at that and in the extrude I will say add it and maybe I will use a higher length so maybe let's make it 780 or something okay press ok so now it will be much slightly longer as you see and when I go to assembly it is longer right so it is gone above this but still we are missing some points so we I will just move this whole thing down slightly so that the, I have some excess material here as well so that's what I'm doing now. I will move it about y axis in a negative y direction. So the starting point is 0, 0, 0. And let's say I move it in y direction to be minus 35. See, it's too much. Uh, maybe I just didn't remove the 0 here. So, like this one. And you see now I have excess material here and I might have excess material there. Let's see it looks okay and yeah you see you have some excess material here and here so what i can do now i can go and create partition using datum plane so you see this is the partition cell with datum plane and it is asking us to select a datum plane i will select this plane yep and 
and then create partition and now I have a partition if I go in a 3d view you see I have a data partition here I do the same on this side as well create a cell to partition I will select the whole thing select the part the statum plane and create and then I have this so now as you can see now I have access material which is now there and there so what I will do there is no way you can delete I tried different options like this delete feature but it is deleting the whole thing so it's not working for me maybe in your version of Abacus it will work so give it a go but you see here now I have created the partition but the problem is we cannot remove this because of the delete option so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna export this as an assembly for the time being let's call it test 2 or whatever and then and and I can use R19 and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the part module let's delete all these because they already tried this many times and delete yes. and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import that assembly as a part okay and it was this test too if you remember and now when I just use the default option and you see you have these now so what you can do in part option once you have everything there because it's already aligned at that angle and everything is partitioned so now we need to delete these features or faces so you can select this delete remove faces option and actually you can you can remove these faces which are additional all right remove the other one inside one yeah. and now when you press turn then abracadabra your part is here so what you can do now you can go to the mesh and see if everything is working so let's assign it some kind of mesh let's say 20 or something I'm not sure how it's gonna look like but let's try this and then mesh it and it works so you see you can mesh it as well so this is how you do it and I hope this will make sense and you are able to learn something over it thank you very much and I will see you in the next video bye for now